Hi, uh, I'm in Crosby and I'm going to go down Coronation Road. I've just come from that way, um, Moor Lane Shops, the village. So this is Coronation Road in Crosby. And I thought I'd walk home this way today. Coronation Road's changed through the years. I mean, this, for instance, used to be Bailwood Primary School. My cousins went there. Fat Italian restaurant. I've not been there, but I've heard it's good. My sister's been there. Domino's Pizzas. Rock salt. You, you forget all this is here, to be honest. Sorry, the phone's shaking. I've got to carry it back in my other arm. A bit heavy, but never mind. The tree house, I've heard of that as well. I've heard that's got good, um, good reviews. This used to be Crosby Youth Club. Um, been there a few times when I was a teenager. It's now appeared in 2000. The weights over there. I think Hampson's, where that is now, Bar and Kitchen, that used to be a news mag. When we were kids, we were all eat, like, we'd go to Coronation Park and we'd go into news mag and um, they'd have all the cheap comics um, for 5p. <laughs> so you'd always go on the bottom shelf um, and get your comics dead cheap. I spent a lot of time on Coronation Road um, through my childhood. There's obviously the parks here. I you can get to the park from Embert Lane, you know, from where I live, with my mum and dad and my sisters and my brother. So that's the other side where you get onto Liverpool Road. So if you just followed that path up there, um, and you'd get onto Liverpool Road. Which is just opposite um, Emberley. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I've just been to the opticians in Crosby, in Morley, in the village, and um, they can't repair my sunglasses. So she was seeing if there was another frame to put them in, but she said it's been discontinued, so that's not good, is it? Um, I only got them a few months ago, about six months ago. So I'm going to see if Cliff will, um, well Cliff said he would glue it anyway. Coronation Road, Harrington Road. It's one of the roads off the um, Coronation Road. It's 53, if I was to get the bus home I'd get that, but you walk. <laughs> Yeah, so later on I'll get Cliff to glue me the frame. Um, 
because I don't need them very often now. We're nearly in autumn, aren't we? We're in September. And um, I mean, today I could have done with them today, but never mind. So I'm not going to go in Coronation Park today. I have done videos on that park, um, but that will be next time. Maybe I'll do another one. Just remember, if a lot of you might remember, the big boulder, the glacier. I've been there another time. Flowers are gorgeous so aren't they? But I'm just passing through at the moment. Oh! Merseyside puppy and dog training classes. Cute. Another exit or entrance to but to Coronation Park. I'm gonna say Victoria Park then. <laughs> Used to go in there, aren't I? And just up there to the right is Alexander Park. Fondly named or known as the Flower Park when we were kids. Sorry. So yeah, just across there is Alexandra Park. Again, I've done videos in there in the past and I will do them again. One day when I do Coronation Park again, I'll do Alexandra Park again. And if you cut down that road, Regent Road leading to Kimberley Avenue and Kimberley Drive, you get onto Liverpool Road again. So I could go home that way if I wanted to. Nice little stroll anyway, on a gorgeous day. Looks quite autumnal there, doesn't it? So just ahead of me there is College Road. I'll just cross over that way a minute. I am going that way, but I'll cross over there. I'll go back there in a minute. Because I want to show you the Carnegie Library. And there's like a bit of history with that, but I've got all that information at home because I didn't realize I was going to come here. Double decker, yeah, we, we still have double decker buses. It was nice to go on the vintage ones the other week, um, but these are just regular double decker buses. I think I've said the story before about my dad. Whenever we were kids, we wanted to go upstairs on the uh, double decker, and he'd say, Oh, no, 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 there's um, you can't do that, there's no driver upstairs. And how gullible were we for falling for that? Because if you were to say that to the kids nowadays, they'd laugh again. <laughs> anyway, this is the Carnegie Library, on the back of it anyway. And it's been getting work done on it. I think it's a grade one or two listed building, I can't remember now. But Moose Cafe is um, moving into it. Might have already moved into it, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll move. Moose Cafe, where has begun? Thanks 
for your patience. Moose coffee, I should say. Moose coffee. So the work's getting done on it. So if I wanted to go to Crosby Beach, I'd cross over there by the co-op and turn round and then just walk right over the bridge and keep going and you're there. <laughs> And that way is to the duck pond, duck pond. So this is College Road. See that's Coronation Road where I've just been. And now I'm on College Road. Yeah, so it's not quite open yet. But work is, has begun on this um, loose coffee in the, Carne the old Carnegie Library. I say I've got a little bit of history to say about this. Um, but I can't remember it. So another day, I can do that, I can come back and do that. Right, let me just go back around here a minute. Carnegie Avenue. Because that's where it was, right at the top. Bottom there, and I went around. So I'll go back to where it was and then double back. Inside number four, that's lovely that. Um, Sarah took me in the cliff there. And it's lovely, lovely place. Right, so that's where I was over there. And I went that way, didn't I? So I've doubled back, which I've shown you these as well, haven't I? <laughs> the robots, they've been there years. They're amazing. The detail is, is fantastic, isn't it? Back towards College Road. It's a lovely area of Crosby, this. Definitely recommend inside number four. Eat, drink, and relax. And florets. This is a brilliant, brilliant, can't speak, brilliant, brilliant florets. Oh, Pitchforth News. Joy and peace. I'll go over and say hello, I think. Right, they weren't in, so joy and peace if you're watching this. Um, I called in to say hi and to see whether you've heard anything how Brian is. You know, our friend Brian Harrington. Craft burger, this is supposed to be a good shop as well to eat. Crosby Gallery, this one's called. It's 
good, isn't it? Thanks. Yeah, it's all monkey. That's good. Been in there. Sarah and John have took us there many times. Sun's shining, I can't see where I'm looking and I've got no sunglasses. We've got Marine Football Club across the road, which I did a video a while ago on, didn't I? Waterfields, that's a good shop. Pork pies are gorgeous. Warwick Avenue There's a song, Warwick Avenue, what was it? Oh, I can't think, it wasn't Casey Malua, was it? I can't remember now well, I can't think Gillian's, this is a brilliant shop Loads and loads to offer in Coronation Road and in College Road in Crosby. The Edinburgh Inn, um, affectionately known as the Bug. What it was called years ago anyway. Don't know whether it still gets called the Bug, no idea. And so if you continue walking along here, right to the bottom of College Road, you come out onto Liverpool Road, which is by Tesco. And Victoria Park is like all the way down there on the right. So thanks for watching. And thanks for walking with me. Yeah.